So I finally got around to working on my doubler plate for the remote oil filter. Uh, it's taking a little longer than I wanted to to get it all done just because life gets in the way. But um, anyway, it's in here. I put a doubler plate behind it. Picks up uh, the structure here and also picks up structure on the center on the center side. I'll show you that, but I'll kind of pull back here and move my filter. You can see there is no play in the firewall at all anymore. It is there. There's actually a rubber piece that gets installed in here later on that the, the oil filter nestles into. Um, so even this play is, is removed at the end of the day. All this is gone, but the firewall is absolutely solid. Um, all the structure up on the front of the airplane by default, all of this structure, aluminum angles like this, all this structure, everything is 63 thousandths aluminum. Uh, so it was pretty easy. All I did was I put a doubler plate um, that actually bridged two pieces of structure. It bridges the uh, center con or the center tunnel down there, and it bridges over to this diagonal piece of aluminum that's right here. Um, you can see down there at the bottom, I put a little doubler plate just to kind of join it in. I, I didn't even need to do that because it was already rigid by the time I got there, but it doesn't hurt to tie it into more structure. Um, so I put it in there, and then uh, see if I can get this camera down in here. Yep. Uh, I put another piece of opposing aluminum onto this one, so it picks up this structure as well, um, all the way through. And then I got my six bolts. Those six bolts are the same six bolts we were looking at over here. Anyway, that's it. It is absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere now. I'm actually very happy with it. I wasn't very happy with it before. And uh, I don't know. I'm confident in saying it is not going anywhere. The rest of the plane may go somewhere, but I can promise you this isn't. See you later. Bye.